Hi guys, Mrs. Vance here. So today we are gonna set up your paper as a one inch grid. And this is going to help you draw realistically using that grid, okay? So the first thing we're gonna do is find our zero mark on our ruler, and we're gonna make sure we have a good pencil and it's nice and sharp. You can always use a uh, mechanical pencil if that will help you draw your line nice and light. The whole goal is to never see this grid when we are finished. So we wanna make sure that we are using a pencil that's gonna give us the lightest line possible. Okay, I'm gonna draw a little bit darker on here so that you can see it on the screen, but I want you to keep yours almost invisible, just barely touching the paper, enough for you to see it, but not um, be dwelling on it later, and definitely not to leave indentations that we need to try to hide. So we're gonna find that zero mark on our ruler, and we're gonna line our edge up, and I have my paper horizontal right now, landscape, and my ruler's nice and straight. I'm gonna go ahead and measure one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. Our paper is 12 inches long, so we need 11 marks. I'm gonna slide my ruler down to the middle. I'm gonna do that again, making sure my ruler isn't you know, super diagonal. I wanna keep it as parallel to the edge of the paper as possible, because that will keep my measurements as close as possible. So now I am marking again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, and 11. And then we're gonna do this one more time. We're gonna do it three times on our paper. Two is not enough. I repeat, two is not enough to get nice straight lines ready to go for our grid. So we measure once at the top, once in the middle, and once at the bottom to help give our measurements. Now we flip our ruler, make our ruler, now connect our dots. So our ruler is now going vertical instead of horizontal. I am finding my three dots. I make sure I'm kind of finding that average between them before I draw my line down. I'm going to my next point, sliding my ruler over carefully, looking for those three marks, and then drawing my line down. And I'm gonna do this all across my paper. Again, making sure I really have those three dots lined up so that my lines are nice and straight. If you don't have those dots lined up, you could end up getting a little crooked and then your grid isn't going to be as perfect. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and keep sliding down all the way across my paper. Take as long as you need to do this. Pause the video if you need to. I am holding my pencil loosely as I go and that helps me keep my line nice and light. I like to kind of use my pencil as like a holding point. And then I'm really pressing down hard with my ruler so that it doesn't slip as I draw my line. And again, I'm gonna go all the way across. So I'm gonna do 11 lines, one for every inch break on our paper. And I've got one more to do. So I, step one is done. I've got my nice light grid ready to go. Hopefully yours is even lighter than mine so that you can just barely see it. Now, if something looks a little funky, you might wanna go back and fix it. I am noticing that I did miss a little bit on this one here. So I'm gonna go and check this really quick, taking the average of my points. And yes, I was a touch off. So I'm gonna go ahead and erase this. And that way, I have a nice crisp line. And I know it's right on the money. You'd be surprised that that little change that I made could make a big difference later on in your um, drawing that you're doing, okay? So uh, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rotate my paper. So we're gonna repeat these same steps. We're just gonna rotate, and we're gonna take that ruler, we're gonna put it back. And now the only difference is, is I like to use my lines that already exist at this point. So I'm gonna line up my zero again, and I'm gonna use that line that's already there to help keep my ruler nice and straight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. I'm gonna slide my ruler down, do it again towards the middle of my paper, just picking a line. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. I'm gonna do this one more time. at The bottom of my paper, lining up my zero, and marking again. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, and eight. Now I'm gonna take that ruler, turn it vertical, line up my dots, and then draw my lines down. Again, those three dots are really important because sometimes measuring just top and the bottom, you can make an error as you go and not realize that maybe you measured like an inch and a quarter instead of an inch and you won't notice it without that third dot in the middle. So that's why it is important to measure three different times. It gives you a better average and it keeps you aware of where your lines are. All right. If you have any questions or you're really struggling with this, do ask a parent for help. And if you still are struggling, go ahead and send me an email. Obviously, I can't physically be there to help you and do this for you, but I will walk you through it as much as possible. The biggest thing is making sure that you know where your zero mark on your ruler is, you know where your inches are, and you're staying calm and going slow as you can. So when you are done, you should have this nice grid. But look, I was rushing because I was talking to you guys and I missed, and you can tell, this little box over here doesn't look quite square. So I'm actually gonna erase a little bit here because it looks like I just went crooked about the midway point. And I'm gonna reline this up with my marks. Put that in and fix that box. And again, that 16th of an inch is going to make a huge difference later on when we're talking about facial proportions and things like that that are going on your grid. Okay, so once your grid is ready to go, the next thing that you want to do is, is ask yourself, do I need my grid to be horizontal or do I need it to be vertical? And then you're going to want to label your um, letters and your numbers according to your picture that um, you should now have um, in your possession. So, you know, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10, you know, whichever way. It depends on whether you're going horizontal or vertical, but your numbers go tiny up here and down here on the side. Email me if you have any questions, guys. Hopefully this goes well for you. Keep it nice and light. If you press hard, start over because honestly, um, the lighter you draw the grid, the easier everything will be in the end. All right, guys, have a good one.